Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We're back with another one. Let's go ahead and jump right into it, guys. So, in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys or share my opinion and let you guys know exactly how powerful your mind actually is. A lot of people, you know, know that. They heard it before. They know it. But whenever you go into a little details about it and share with people exactly how strong and powerful their mind is, it'll make people, I think, you know, rethink the way they live, rethink their thoughts, rethink everything. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, guys. And I jot down a few notes just to keep me in order to have some type of structure with the video. So if you see me looking down, this one I'm looking down at. So let's go ahead and take a look at it, though, guys. The mind is way more powerful than you guys think. You may have noticed you could say stuff and didn't really mean to, like, manifest it. This coming back to manifesting it, but on a smaller scale, a scale that you're not even uh, consciously uh, trying to do whatever it is that you say. Like, maybe you would just say things aloud, something good, positive, and then it, it, something, it'll happen in that, like, shape or form. It might not be exactly sometimes, but it'd be right there in the mix of it, the ballpark. You're like, wow, I just said that. I just... Or you'll be scrolling on social media after you just got done having a conversation with friends, family, loved ones, significant other. You just had a conversation about a specific topic, whether it's all the corruption going on in the world, whether it's, you know, it could be anything, whether it's um, a new video game you discover, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're talking about in your real life, it'll automatically pop up on your social media. Now you're seeing videos about whatever it is that you were just looking at or thinking about, right? Same thing with just, it's just, our mind is powerful, guys. And and also, I got a lot that I wanna cover with you guys. Not a lot, but you know, different things I wanna throw out there. And I want you guys to imagine this. Before I want you to imagine that, I wanna say this, though. Positive thoughts and positive vibes. We all heard that before. And most people, they wake up every day living in their past. That's why most people, they, you know, can't never change their uh, life or change their perspective on life is because they dwell in the past. Whenever you think negative thoughts, because thinking in the past, most people's past is not so good. So you thinking in the past, dwelling in it, that's all your reality in the present is going to foresee. That's all it's going to bring up, negative, bad things, because you dwelling in the past. But if you right now change your whole perspective, think positive for everything, even bad situations, think positive. Like I like what Steve Harvey said. A lot of us go through bad days, right? But them bad days, in the mix of it, we feel as if it's the worst day of our life. We'll never get through it or, you know, it's, it's just that bad. But when you think about it, what do you say? How many of those bad days that you uh, succeeded in? Like, how many of those bad days you went through and you made it through them? You got a 100% track record of making through all those bad days. So it's like, that changed my whole perspective on a bad day. Like, dang, I do got a 100% track record of every bad day. So if a bad day comes, I already know without a doubt, I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it through. Cause I got a 100% track record that's proven that I was gonna make it through from the past. So the same thing, once you got that, that's one, you know, that's just something to throw out there as well. But back to the positive thinking, you change your whole outlook, your whole mindset on positive thinking, you ain't got no choice but to see positive results in your life. And some may say, well, no, something still could go bad, or this, that, and the third, or this, that, and the third. I guarantee you, for the people, if it's a thousand people thinking positive, and a thousand people thinking negative, even if not every thousand of those people that thought positive, positive things ain't pop up, I guarantee you, you'll be on the percentile side, the 99% that did have positive results show up in their life. It might be the 1%, you know, with something went shabby, something went wrong, it ain't gonna just always work like that. But I guarantee you, more times than not, your situation, your life outcome gonna be way better from thinking positive all the time, rather than thinking negative and dwelling on the past and dwelling on the money you lost, dwelling on the relationship that didn't go right, dwelling on all this BS, you gotta cut it out. Another thing, guys, I want you guys to imagine this. I had discovered this myself. You know, I give credit where it's due. Like, previously, whenever I get anything from anybody, I always state where I got it from. Steve Harvey, I said I got that from him, right? So anything I come from myself, original thoughts, which nothing is original, be very clear, whatever you're thinking, somebody else in this world is thinking. And it ain't just one other person, it's millions of other people thinking the same thoughts that you're thinking. That's why your tribe, you, they ain't even wanna get off topic, but that's why 
I don't mind just speaking my original talk, th thoughts and talking how I talk, may cuss a little bit because whoever ain't for me is going to going, going to uh, separate from me. They're going to, you know, it's going to be a distance between us, and I'm going, I ain't going to care about them. But anybody that's for me, they're going to be my tribe, and they'll be attracted to me. Only people I'm focusing on to worry about is people that's attracted to me and my vibe. The people that have the same thoughts like I have, and there's millions of people out there that does. So, anyways back to what i want you to imagine one day i was on the back porch i was smoking right as i was smoking it was cold it wasn't cold like it is right now obviously 26 degrees 14 degrees it was like a normal chilly night but even and it wasn't the winter time it was the summer the spring time so in the spring cold is different from this cold if that makes sense in the spring it's usually I have a 75 day in there or a 77 day in there, a warm day. And then all of a sudden one day it's like 30 degrees. So 30 degrees definitely is going to be cold in the spring during that time, if you get what I'm saying. So as I'm sitting on the back porch with no coat on, chilly. I'm like, dang, it's cold. And then I'm starting to shiver. And it's crazy because once I I just did something out of the blue. I didn't know what made me do it. I don't know what happened. But I was like, let me think and imagine myself being in the coldest place in the world, like Antarctica, or somewhere where it's snow and glaciers. I'm like, once I thought I put my mind that I was there in that coldest place in the world, I instantly warmed up. I instantly warmed up, no lie guys. And the reason why I warmed up is because I understood that that cold I was feeling wasn't the coldest that I could be feeling. Like, if you get what I'm saying, it wasn't the coldest. It was, it was cold, but it wasn't the coldest. So I put myself in the coldest place, and it made where I was warm. Because I'm like, dang, what if I was in Antarctica right now? Glaciers, the snow, the polar bears. I would be cold as hell. So it made the temperature that it actually was felt like nothing. Same thing if you could take that and run with anything. Like, a lot of people, like, I seen an analogy one time, a little thing, where it say somebody complaining about driving their beat-up Honda right now, right? They complaining, man, I hate this old car. And then you got somebody up under them complaining about riding their bike. Like, they wish they was in that Honda position. You got a Honda, I wish I was driving that. And now the person on the bike, they complaining. And then the person on the bike, you got somebody that's walking. That's like, dang, I wish I had a bike. They got it good. And then the person that's walking complaining, it's a person that's in a wheelchair on crutches. And they're like, dang, they got it good. I wish I could walk. And then a the person that's on crutches in the wheelchair that's complaining. The next person, the last person is dead. They're like, dang, I'm dead. I wish I was at least alive. So it don't make sense. It's somebody always doing better the situation or whatever. I don't know how. I know that made sense, right? But anyways, like I told you guys, perception is whatever you believe. I ain't want to make this video too long. I feel like I got a lot of good positive thoughts out there. You know, we can say something for the gutter. We can say something for the gutter. We can say something for the gutter. But anyways, guys, that's all I got for you guys' this video. You already know what to do, man. I love y'all. Edge Boy on Instagram at the Hey Show. Let me know if you like this type of content and all that good stuff, man. Regardless if you like it or not, though, I'm going to still drop it. I love you. We come.